Hey guys, welcome back. You're here with Barry, and uh, I want to introduce you to Jenna and Roberto. Uh, hi guys. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, these guys, uh, I guess they've been uh, watching us long back, uh, back in the days, and kind of adapted to the Something Feels Wrong website. And finally, I got a call about was I free to meet them for a date? And uh, I kind of sneakily talked them into staying one night because it's. <laughs> They were in La Romana visiting family. Uh, these guys are Dominican folks that do live and were raised in New York. Am I right? Yes. yes. So before we get started, everyone uh, say hello to YouTube land. <laughs> hello, uh, guys. Hi. Tell us a little bit about your family, about your history, and about your, you were raised in the States, am I correct? Yeah, we're from... What are we doing here together then? <laughs> oh, we're from New York, first of all. Uh, we live actually in Rochester, New York, which is upstate. And I'm um, Dominican. Uh, Dominican York, as they call it over there, because I, I, I was raised over there. But um, yeah, we're here. Uh, I was visiting my, visiting my mom, staying at my mom's house in La Romana, which is about four hours from here, or a little less. And she's here to join me, and we wanted to come to Cabrera, because we have been following him for a while. And uh, I love the area, we love the area, and we wanted to investigate a little more about it. So, we're here. That's it. <laughs> You're 100% on board with this idea as well? I am 100% on board. I am actually a New Yorican. Um, yes. And I came to the Dominican Republic and I fell in love with the island, and even more in the area of Cabrera. Uh, we, we'd been here years ago, and he was telling me about Barry and he was saying, you got to watch, you know, the videos, you're going to love it, let's go. And I said, absolutely, let's let's do it. And I did. I fell in love with it and I said, we got to come and see him. So when we were here in La Romana, he's like, you want to call him? Like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> and I have not been disappointed. Everything he said and some is exactly what it is. I... I 100% will guarantee that you would love this area. I mean, we do, and that's yeah. what we're planning on doing. Your heritage, though, your language skills, all of these things, but what are some of the reasons you're looking at our area? I know you like Cabrera, that was obvious, but you've been here before. Now you, I think you've made a decision that this is right. It makes mm -hmm. sense. This is how you feel good here. All right, but... What is your reasoning for wanting now, after you're both very successful, you have both good careers, you're both young, what's your reasoning for wanting to come back to a country like this versus enjoying your retirement in where you built, built your wealth from? Right, right. Um, my personal experience is I like to slow things down. I like the island life, I love the beaches, and yes, you can probably get that you know, in the United States where we're from right now. But the serenity, the peace, the, what is the word? It's um, the humbleness of everyone makes it a huge difference because everyone's out for themselves where we live. Unlike here, everyone's, it's a united front, everything's good. If you don't have it, you can knock to the door next door and say, hey, do you got a little sugar that I can have? And everybody's like, yeah, do you want this? something else with that you know unlike back home you don't really even know your neighbors you know you live in an area where okay maybe you live the, you know the person this way but you don't know the person there or there everyone lives so secluded and so you don't have that familiar you everyone's like very family oriented and that's what draws us into this now you have family living here as well am i right guys yes Correct. all right um how do you look at leaving what you would have to call you you know like like your home or we were talking a little bit earlier over breakfast there is a little bit of worry or a little fear and yeah. i'm trying to not talk you out of it i'm just trying to get you to look at things from a different angle right but how what are people telling you are your friends back home giving you are you sick you're nuts what are you doing <laughs> so, are, there's a mixed feeling some some are like oh you're crazy or you're really gonna go over there or, you know because they, they, these are people that haven't even been here so yeah. i don't know why they're telling me that yeah generally Just, uh, free information right is worth the price, right you know? yeah. and then some 
there's a mixed feelings. Like I said, some are like, yeah, I can't wait till you're there. You know, I want to go visit this and that. Actually, most of them are like that. There's only a few people that are like, man, you're crazy. You know, like, but now, so, is all your family in America or here? I know you have some here. I so have I a ton be, of family here. But what about America? Are you leaving family there too? Uh, yeah, we have definitely family there. We have kids there, and um, I'm not sure if they're coming or not. They're older. They're older. They're adults. Believe it or not, they're adults. <laughs> we had them young. And, um, we're not sure if they're coming or not, and so we'll see on that one. But um, yeah, we do have family, uh, lots of family and friends here, there and here. And the family that's up uh, in Nueva York, uh, those family, are they going to see a lot of visitors you were mentioning? You can see a lot of company. Oh, yeah. You see a lot of that definitely. in the future coming? Definitely. Absolutely. Probably maybe too much, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You think your American friends are going to come up here too and really get a taste of what Dominican Republic is really like? I could pretty much God, guarantee I a lot of them. Their necks yeah. Because it's not about all <laughs> Inclusive. Yeah. No, really and a lot of people do feel like it's an all-inclusive situation. Yeah. yeah. But I think if they if they come here, especially here to Cabrera, and they see the difference on how it is from the all-inclusive, but yet you still have what you need, mm -hmm. it's a you know they'll see the difference. I feel like it's more calming. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what we're looking for. More, more calming. Laid more laid. That's the word. Laid back. Well, that, yeah, that you'll definitely get here, but again, uh, like, uh, uh, it's not a caution, it's just the truth. Yeah, I think, tell people, do I level with you or do I oh, just tell Oh, straightforward, okay. completely. Truthful. One of the things you're going to learn quick, No bull. <laughs> one of the things you're going to learn quick when you live here full time, initially you want to slow down. Now, bear in mind, you were raised in New York and you're used to that lifestyle. It's going to take you an adjustment of six to eight months. Oh, yeah. Because initially you're going to love it for the first month, then it's, you're going to start, well, you don't have hair, but you're going to start pulling out your hair because it's too slow. Yes. Then you're going to slowly adjust to it. Right. And eventually, I always joke and I say, one day you'll wake up and you have three tires and one's flat. You'll be thankful for the three that aren't. Then you're starting to, to get the suave, the slow yeah. down. But, um, so there will be an adjustment to that because you don't get to where you guys are without stress in America. I'm not right. naive. Oh, no, it's true. Do, I'm brutally honest. It's that's true. just the way I am. He is. So it's gonna, it, there is gonna be an adjustment period for it. After that, I could already tell from as many people as we relocated here. You're, like I said, you're not gonna want to leave, and I don't think you do. <laughs> no. But but I knew it from when I when I met you. That's why I cleared what I was doing because I really wanted to meet you guys. Well, we appreciate you know, it for a couple of days, you know. But but. Have I, I, I've shown you different things because you are you're doing you know this country. Yeah. I've shown you a lot of different things. And Absolutely. You, yes. I want one or two other things before we get off camera. By the way, you're good, so don't be shy. <laughs> Everybody's so shy, you know, but what, when they see it, they go, you know, Barry, it really was fun. By the time we <laughs> he always it. makes it easy. <laughs> but, but the thing is, I want, what are you going to tell or what can you offer other people that are going through the challenges you are right now about should I, shouldn't I, shoulda, coulda, woulda, you can. The rest is up to you. What do you tell people that are facing the same experience you're personally going through right now? Because I know you love it here. Oh, it's, we it's do. It's a no-brainer. We this do. This is right for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's... At least for me, and the discussions that we've had for this, and, and the other discussion that we had about um, conquering your fear, because it's something you want to do, but you're fearful for the unknown, you know? And so we're all kind of nervous, wow, what's going to happen if we do this, and what could be the outcome, and, and what's consequences or not? And then you sit back, and you start listening to yourself, and you're like, okay, I'm fearing something I don't even know, but what I do know is that I love it. What I do know is that this is something I can do, so why not try it? And then if it doesn't work out, then you pack up and go again. You know what I mean? It, it's no brainer. And I believe that when you do make this decision and you feel like, wow, I have no more stress for whatever it is, just like you said, everything kind of slows down and we do. We're like fast paced and but then when we come over here and it's not the resort and it's not, oh, this vacation, this and this and that, and you realize this is life, then things start to change and your aspect and, and the things that you're looking at starts to change as well. You know, and it just even though you still will have a little fear because who doesn't fear the unknown, but once you make that step over just, that just fear, <laughs> yeah, and you just just do it. I don't know. I feel like I mean it's a personal decision, but for us, our personal decision is this is worth it. 
Yep. It's something we want to do. What I was saying earlier over breakfast, we just finished breakfast, as I mentioned, where uh, somebody taught me that fear doesn't prevent you from dying, fear yeah. prevents you from living. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. is, there, is there any method I agree. to what I'm saying? I agree. Now? 100%. Yeah, he's laughing. At this now. point. Okay, we got him. We got him. <laughs> All right. Listen, guys, I want to thank you. I had a wonderful time with you. Awesome. I really, Same here. And I really hope you make a positive decision. I could see us doing a lot of things as well as introducing oh, yeah. you to a lot of others, but I could see us uh, banging around on a 4 by 4 trip oh, or, yeah. cool. or two. And <laughs> Looking forward to, to it. Thank you so much for taking 10 minutes. To, you never know who you're going to help on this right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any last minute thing you want to say before? <laughs> if, yeah, if you uh, have a doubt or whatever, just do it and just come over here. He was very flexible with us to show us around and I'd just do it. I, I mean, so. gather information, yeah. gather information. That's the best way of knowing if this is right for you. Yeah. Guys, I really he's got a lot of information. So. I really do. I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun, too. I Me, too. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Until <laughs> next time, this is Barry and DR. We'll talk soon. Bye. <laughs>